Hi guys, what's up everyone? This is Goro. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 ways international students can be successful at US universities. Many international students are likely unfamiliar with social and academic expectations of United States universities. Differences may include a greater focus on teamwork and more flexibility when it comes to choosing a major. In this video, I'm going to tell you some tips and information which can help you and prospective students make the most of their time studying in the States. So if you want to know which are those 10 tips, please keep on watching. Number one, don't forget freshman orientation. Freshman orientation is an important step for all incoming college students, especially the international students. Plan to arrive here in the United States early enough to attend that valuable event. Orientation provides a chance to get to know your fellow classmates, learn more about the school activities, and start to adjust the rigors before the semester begins it gives you so many opportunity to interact with many people and many students all around the globe so please do not miss me uh, miss the orientation number two is expect class discussion to count discussion between professors and students plays a big vital role in united states colleges courses and class participation is often a factor in deciding final grades especially if you are in a graduate school participation may be especially important to success in courses revolving around collaboration or debate so it's very important you get involved in the class you get involved in the discussion and interact with professors and your fellow classmates number three refine english language skills very important u.s colleges and social environments and prospective students should spend their time improving their english skills before they arrive because here in america you will have to speak english everywhere so it's a good practice to start talking in english from your native country before you land to United States. Students can boost their conversation language skills from their home countries by doing things like you should read books or watching American television show without the captions and it, it will certainly help with, uh, help with your language when it comes to interacting with American classmates or your professor. So it's very important you refine them before you plan to arrive in the United States. Number four is learn your way around the library. Prospective international students should add libraries to their college research checklist. Many people in our nation they don't go to libraries but here in the United States universities they have a fabulous library which is a resource to everything you must put down in your checklist and you must visit few times in a week in order to get those information and in order to get those atmospheres it's amazing the library can be a great study space and a place to find an academic support it is also a good resource for borrowing course textbooks for free which can cost serious money if you bought new so if you there is like a database at the college university website you just search that book and if it's available you just go give your university id and take that book for rental and then you return it back when it's done so it's a very simple process and it's very very crucial for a student to know that number five keep an open mind about majors unlike many foreign universities most United States college and universities aren't tied to one specific field or specialization and they allow students to apply without needing to declare their major. So you can take any major if you are in engineering you can opt for any of the other art or some other kind of course but you might need to take some prerequisite if it's needed. 
but this gives you flexibility to go into another major and take that course too. International students can use their flexibility to spend their freshman year researching subjects of interest or speaking with advisors and professors about the potential major. So if you're not sure of your major, do talk to the advisors or your professors and figure out what actually you want to be after you graduate. Number six is explore extracurricular options. Very important. Along with academics, participation in extracurricular activities is a big part of the United States college experience. Joining clubs or sports team can help students make friends, learn new skills, and boost their professional resumes and network. This is how you interact with people. And if you don't find any interest in the activities which is going on in your campus, build your own organization, start your own organization, and try to meet new people and connect with them, make relationships. Take time to do some research about options at your targeted school. You need to make sure you target specific schools and you know what is going on, what extracurricular activities they offer around the year. Number seven, learn to work as a team. It's common for professors at U.S. colleges to assign group projects, often in the form of research presentations and many more seminar or webinar topics. So you have to work as a teammate in order to get that done. That's a good way of teaching the team bonding and the leadership and the team management of professors that they give you such task. Prospective international students should be comfortable working with team and realize that certain project grades may be influenced by the work of their uh, peers. So it's not only about you, it's on also about the team, the people who will be, you will be working with, the classmates you will be working with. So it's very important to make bonding, to make relationships. It's not like you will be working by yourself. So make sure you keep that in mind. Number eight is get to know the international student's office. Reaching out to this office can provide answers to everything from class availability to visa and housing information. They are like your god when you are studying at the university. You have to know the international student office. In addition, in addition to that, uh, browsing school websites can offer additional insight into the campus life and at each and every resource for international students. Not only that, you can browse school websites, you can browse everything you want at the Career Office Center and it's an amazing experience. You will be welcomed when you go there. So make sure you do that. Number nine is research on campus employment options. Very important for funding. Getting a student job at university can help international students improve their language English language skills and earn a little money which will can be used as a part of a rent or your food expenses or anything. Prospective students can research on-campus career options before applying and get an idea of availability and requirement at the targeted school. Make sure you see what's going on and you reach out to your university how to get those kind of uh, positions and the opportunities. Number 10, don't count on your two-year programs. Community colleges are a way of international students to get a taste of U.S. college life without the time and cost commitment to of a four-year degree. So if you are in community college or if you are coming to community college, please do not restrict yourself. It's just the beginning. You should take a transfer to a university in order to experience and make your career background strong. Prospective students interested in starting off at this two-year institute should reach a transfer option and know how credits will apply to a four-year universities and you should definitely take a transfer to a university. So guys, these were the 10 points which you should definitely keep in mind in order to be successful here in the United States universities. So I hope you will keep these 10 points in mind and uh, uh, if you're new to this channel and if you like the content and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one thank you